Okay, so we're going to give you some ways to remember the prefixes in the metric system. So in our group we have Kenny, Victoria, Luis, and me, Caitlin. So this um, mnemonic device, mnemonic device um, starts with Terra, which is in the trillions, and goes to Femto, which is in the quadrillions. So to start this off, we have the great man kicked. The great man kicked, each of the various starting letters means something. T stands for Terra, G stands for Giga, Man stands for Mega, Kick stands for Kilo. And the Terra stands for trillions, Giga stands for billions, Mega means millions, and Kilo means thousands. In scientific notation, this is going to be 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 6th, 10 to the 9th, and 10 to the 12th. Okay, so the next part is um, his dog butt. So the H in his stands for hecto. Written in scientific notation, it's 10 to the second power. And this means that it's in the hundreds place. The D for dog stands for deca. Written in scientific notation, it's 10 to the first power. And this means that it's in the tens place. And the B in butt stands for base unit, which is um, written in scientific notation, 10 to the zero power, which just means that it's just the ones place. So the next part is didn't care much, many, and the D stands for deci, and that's 10 to the power of negative 1 in scientific notation, and it's the 10th place. Um, the C stands for centi, and it's 10 to the power of negative 2 in scientific notation, and that stands for the hundreds. M in much stands for milli, in scientific notation that's, that's 10 to the power of negative 3, and in decimal that's the thousandths place. And M in many stands for micro. Scientific notation, it's 10 to the power of negative 4, and it's the millionth place. Finally, we have neighbors protested fiercely, which is nano, picto, and femto. Nano means the billionth, which is 10 to the power of negative 9. Picto means the trillionth, which is 10 to the negative 12th. And femto means quadrillionth, which is 10 to the negative 15th. And finally, we have converting units between, uh, what is it called, the metric system. So here, our example is we have decameters to centimeters. This de uh, decameters would be 10 to the 1th, while centimeters would be 10 to the um, negative 2. So in order to convert, we count how many um, distances there are between each of them. So we have to go from 1 to 0 to negative 1 to negative 2. That means we're going to have to move three places to the left, right because we're going from bigger to smaller. And so you're going to go fifth, and you're going to go one, two, three. And this is going to be 15,000 centimeters. That's all.